In tonight's top story, between 16 and 23,000 households in North Dakota are at risk of eviction as a direct result of the pandemic. And that comes from August data from the National Low Income Housing Association. Renee Cooper is here to break it all down for us. Renee. Thanks, Lauren and Nicholas. To give you a better picture of just how many people are struggling to keep a roof over their heads, it's up 21% of North Dakota renters, a little over a fifth. I'm surprised it's that low. It's hard for elected officials to say, well, I don't see the people on the street right now. Well, I, you know, I say this all the time, you know, we don't wait for the flood to hit our ankles before we start sandbagging. About four months ago, the ACLU of North Dakota called for a freeze on evictions and foreclosures. The state responded instead with a rent bridge program under the Department of Human Services. It provides assistance for up to six months for eligible renters who are struggling to pay rent. So we look at, has there been a change in your household income? of some kind since March. The North Dakota ACLU advocacy director says this could be that sandbagging effort because it provides financial assistance by direct payment from the state to the landlord. But still, he says evictions are up this year in Burley and Morton counties. More than that are happening in Cass, and obviously Cass County is much bigger. And so that is sort of our canary in the coal mine where we really have um, leaned back in and are asking What's the reason for that? Because that's up from last year. We asked Jessica Thomason with the Department of Human Services, how many people are being helped by the rent bridge? We're probably seeing, I'd say, 40 to 50 new applications a day. Pretty steady. It goes up and down. Um, so far, we've been able to help just over 450 renters in about 17 counties across North Dakota. She says that's out of somewhere between 2,500 to 3,000 applications, but that includes many people who don't make it past the initial questionnaire. And Decray makes it clear, landlords are likely hurting too. The misnomer is that it's this pitting landlords against tenants, pitting people against people, like we're all in this together. And if the lowest people fall and they, and they get kicked out of their apartments, I don't see them filling those units. And so, I mean, it's a domino effect. He says keeping tenants afloat is about stabilizing the entire housing system in North Dakota. I wanted to show you some of the raw numbers I got from North Dakota courts. There were actually fewer evictions overall in the state in July of 2020 than in July of 2019. Now keep in mind, this doesn't count dismissed cases that have come back up later. I also wanted to compare April from 2019 to 2020 because for most of the month of April, eviction hearings were suspended. But at the end of the day, there is a heightened number of people at risk of losing homes as the pandemic continues and we won't see the full count of displaced families families for months to come. And that's not something to gloss over. And Lauren and Nicholas, the next time you see the lovely Carrie Rorick at the front desk, remind her of how much she rocks. She spent hours helping me comb through this data. Will do. Thanks, Renee. And we've added a link to the Rent Bridge info and application on our website, kxnet.com. So the question remains, if you're facing eviction, what's the next step? What are your options? We sat down with Executive Director Richard LeMay of Legal Services of North Dakota, a nonprofit that provides free legal help for those in need. She says their calls for housing assistance are up by about 40% which he says is pretty significant. LeMay says, unfortunately, there's not a lot of defense for eviction when rent isn't paid, but these cases have to be handled in court. So he says the best thing you can do as a tenant is to show up for that court date, which LeMay says many people don't. I'm sure it's, you know, I don't, I don't really have any hope. Um, you know, I, I can't pay the rent. Uh, I can't pay last month's rent. I can't pay this month's rent. I mean, why Why am I going to go to the hearing and just be embarrassed? In, the, in this kind of a situation, it's nobody's fault. LeMay also emphasizes that legal services is avail are available 24 hours a day to help you through this type of situation. He also recommends that anyone who's struggling financially to apply for the Rent Bridge program.